It seems Packer kept her word and handed Patrick Quick to the authorities. What happened on the island didn't go unnoticed. Hopefully no one saw the scoundrels. According to Patrick Quick, innocent fisher folk are being conned into working for the mastermind. But to what end? As they sail on, the captain signals for one of the scoundrels to come over. I have good and bad news. I deciphered the note, but the bad news is whoever wrote it wanted the governor to arrest all of you. But Governor Sanko met with them instead. Was that why he was assassinated and the scoundrels framed? So they'd still end up in prison. That's how love notes. While you ruminate on what this means, pick a new ability for your scoundrels. Woohoo! Always a good time. We either have a single target, very high power, or area of effect. I'll do one high power. He needs it. She. <laughs> Nuna doesn't really have good upgrades this time around, so I'll take this support one. Basically stuns someone that's next to her. A sniper shot, yes. More damage for my lovely healer. The new clues just opened up more questions. If they're to find out who's behind all this, the best leads are still the locations on the map sent to the governor. What next? I'm curious about the Nuna storyline. Nuna knows the way through the reef. There's a power in Bastoyer that could help she says. Yeah. The ship proceeds slowly, following Nuna's instructions to pass through the treacherous Black Reef. There's an eerie silence aboard. It's so fun that we kind of discover their personalities, their storyline, like that's what RPG is all about to me. The Hammer's only question betrays her fear of Nuna's power. Do they all have sorcery on Bestoya? She's relieved that the answer is no, but wonders aloud what makes Nuna so special. Nuna replies that it was simple. She didn't die in the trials. Just like any wizard. Thomas starts a barrage of excited questions. Of course. How are Nuna's powers linked to Bestoya? Where do they truly come from? How were they bestowed? She cuts him off with a glare. She's not a specimen to be studied. And there must never be another like her. Oh. Never easy going back home. But then it can't have been easy making a new life after... Bestoya. Earning jewel sides trust these last seven years. I'm sorry. They'll have heard about the governor by now. As the ship clears the reef, an uneasy feeling settles on the crew. There's a reason outsiders don't come here. And that Nuna never tried to return. Jungle. Nuna guided you to a hidden landing spot with a disused path which has brought the scoundrels to this courtyard undetected. But you're not the only one sneaking around. That was one of the assassins who killed the governor. Mm. But they're gone now. Best to focus on the task in hand. Nuna needs a shadow stone for her scrying ritual. And they're all inside the temple. But these Pistoians won't be pleased to see her. You better figure out a way to get inside. Kill them. That's what I would do. What's this statistic? This is Sekvan, a loyal acolyte of Nuna's old cult. He'll definitely let Nuna go up to the temple roof to use a shadow stone. But can she convince him to stay calm about her return? Whatever that statistic is, hopefully it's gonna help me. Nuna 
mother's words haven't overcome Sekvan's joy at seeing her. It is you. Oh, after all these years, my faith has been rewarded. Nuna tries to calm him, but he's waited so long. Wait, so that's good, no? You fools who rebelled. The day of reckoning is at hand. The Anointed One is here to destroy you all. <laughs> <laughs> the Bastonians clearly don't take Sekvan seriously. Until they see Nuna, the Anointed One. Their eyes widen in terror before they run for reinforcements. No need for stealth now. Better find those shadow stones quickly and leave Sekvan to his ranting. <laughs> Through a side door. Whoa. The sky portal is a door into the realm outside. Home of the cult's shapeless, many-eyed god. It was opened once, when Nuna survived the ritual. Sacred lore forbids it opening again until the thing outside is ready to devour the world. So, why is the portal open now? The assassins must have been here. Already, shadow creatures from the realm outside are exploiting the tear in reality. More will come through unless the portal is sealed by deactivating the soul siphons. The shadow stone, meanwhile, is right there to be used for Nuna's scrying ritual. Oh, those are higher level ones. Okay. Let me try this uh, sniper shot. I mean, now everyone can handle themselves, so I should just pull Nuna to the middle and then the rest will handle. Okay. It's not like an insane image. I think I will love this. <laughs> Fight between each other. So what's the wrench? Okay. Are you kidding me? That's actually very helpful. Wait, so it was only for damage. I can't do it in two turns of steel fist. Maybe it's gonna be worth it when he will have one power more. from above are like locusts, extensions of the thing outside's many mouths. These soul 
siphons supply energy to the sky portal. They can only be controlled through a sacrifice of life energy. It's theoretically safe, if you can understand how it works. The scoundrel supplies just enough life force to the siphon and commands it to turn off. It felt like being hollowed out. And there's still another one. Helping me essentially. <laughs> the sky portal will only close if both soul siphons are deactivated. Try not to sacrifice too much of a scoundrel's soul to do it. The siphon reaches deep within your scoundrel's soul, but the pain is too much to control it. They'll have to try again. The sky portal Oof. will only close if both soul siphons are deactivated. Try not to sacrifice too much of a scoundrel's soul to do it. The siphon reaches deep within your scoundrel's soul, but the pain is too much to control it. They'll have to try again. He's not necessarily a good candidate to do that. I'll just move around to more convenient spots. They can't do shit for me, <laughs> like... It's too easy. The sky portal will only close if both soul siphons are deactivated. Try not to sacrifice too much of a scoundrel's soul to do it. As the feeling of icy fingers plunging into their heart subsides, the scoundrel manages to command the soul siphon, and it deactivates, closing the sky portal again. <laughs> Fair enough. So like, she activates this cult, and then it can stun. The dark, geomantic energies of the temple are focused into shadow stones like this. If she concentrates, Nuna can use its power to see what is hidden, just as the thing outside does with its many eyes. Now I understand the sleeping strike. If you deplete your movement, it makes sense. The dark, geomantic energies of the temple are focused into shadow stones like this. If she concentrates, Nuna can use its power to see what is hidden, just as the thing outside does with its many eyes. The energies of the Shadow Stone enhance Nuna's powers, and she starts shaping it for the ritual. But it'll take some time to complete. The energies of the Shadow Stone enhance Nuna's powers, and she starts shaping it okay. for the ritual. Okay, I got it. But it'll take some time to complete. So it's only deals for damage, it's two stealing fists. I don't necessarily see this as a good thing. 
Damn it, another useless card. The dark, geomantic energies of the temple are focused into shadow stones like this. If she concentrates, Nuna can use its power to see what is hidden just as the thing outside does with its many eyes. I kinda wish there would be like an XP system. You know, when you kill, you get certain amount of stuff, then you can level up, stuff like that. The dark, geomantic energies of the temple are focused into shadow stones like this. If she concentrates, Nuna can use its power to see what is hidden just as the thing outside does with its many eyes. Nuna reels from the Shadow Stone's dark power as she receives her vision. But she's seen too much. The images were so vast, so quick. She'll need the power of another Shadow Stone to bring what she saw into focus. You're free to leave the Temple Summit to look for another one. As for Sekvan, well, he's not helping you now. But you can escape the old man easily if you don't want to fight him. There are two other shadow stones in the temple. The west exit leads to the throne room on the ground floor, from which Nuna once ruled as the Anointed One. To the east, a long staircase leads to the Anointing Chamber, in the caverns under the temple. I think the throne room seems fun. As the scoundrels descend, Nuna recalls the last time she set foot in the throne room, when she was hounded from the island by rebels. Hopefully it's quieter this time. <laughs> I would not think so.